Well, my name is Chuck Champlin, and I'm the author of two books that we've been featuring here. Uh, and I'm, so I'm a writer. I worked for the Walt Disney Company for uh, 12 years, and then also was an English major from UC Berkeley, and I've worked at the Los Angeles Times as well. So anyway, but I've written a book called Wand and another one called Think Like a Molecule, and I'm just fascinated and think it's very much fun to be at the LA Times Book Festival. Well, I've, no, I came to the festival a few years ago and then offered a book as well. Um, but this is obviously they've not held a festival for two years, so now I'm the first time back, and it's very exciting to be back in public again. Well, I was an English major at University of California at Berkeley. So, you know, naturally uh, delved into the world of words and so on and just loved reading Mark Twain and, uh, and I loved the man Buckminster Fuller who uh, was sort of about science, but he was also a, 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 a you know, very good writer and spokesperson, inspirational person. So Buckminster Fuller is part of my inspiration. So I just, but my father was a writer, so I definitely was inspired to do that. Well, I've written two books. My first one was called Think Like a Molecule, and the idea there is that, first of all, it's amazing to me that molecules have learned how to think. Here we are. We're a collection of molecules, but, you know, we're able to think. When you think about the structure of molecules, you also realize that that's sort of analogous to the way that our ideas work. I think I'm going to go to the beach. I'd like to go for the sun. I'd like to go for the fishing. I'd like to go for the swimming, the beach, the sand, whatever. And so you have these ways that you construct your meaning that have kind of similarities to molecules and so I find that sort of inspiring and then just again just being respectful of the fact that this is perhaps the only place in the universe where molecules have learned to think and we need to be respectful about that and celebrate that fact then the, the second book was called wand and it's uh, the idea that a pen or a pencil can be a magic wand to change the world so uh, I'm impressed by that or also a television antenna is kind of like a magic wand so that's what the idea these are kind of like wands as well the watch towers uh, man like Simon Rodia constructed that and I found that very inspiring uh, architecture in Los Angeles. I think that you probably should think about reading my book because it's such a fundamental exercise in understanding the inspiration that you're capable of doing, that I'm capable, of, any of us human beings are capable of doing, that we have this mind, unlike rocks, we can think of changes to the world that can make the world a better place. So wand is the pencil, the pen, the way that we're going to get those ideas out by writing a book. And it tells about why you should write a book. Every, there ought to be a law. Every single person should have to write a book because they were alive. What did they learn? You got to help the human race understand what we learned, and so that's what I'm talking about here. Get to work. Well, I think that the, the most challenging part, most people say, yes, I want to write a book, but I haven't started yet. The most important part is to sit down every day, day after day, and start doing it again. And just keep going and keep going. And I was lucky because I had a spiral bound notebook like you use in your sociology class. I just wrote into it almost every single day. And then after about a year or two of that, I realized I've got a lot of thoughts here. And they seem to be sensible. And I came up with this title of Think Like a Molecule. So that's the most important thing to do is to start writing and keep writing and believe in the, the value. Every single person should be required by law to write their book, their memoir, to say what do they learn and everybody else would have a chance perhaps to benefit from it. Well, I think that uh, one of the things about like being here at the Los Angeles Times Festival of Books, you just realize what a vitality there is in the, the human population that wants to share ideas. So everybody just needs to have and celebrate that idea, and respect that idea that authors have, have just got a tremendous amount to offer our civilization. And we're trying to help our civilization of now seven and a half billion people learn to how to prosper on this world and how to make this world work. There's a lot of things about this world that are looking kind of broken right now, but if we keep working with an optimistic, positive outlook, we're going to help things um, get together, get along. You know, we can all just learn to get along, as Rodney King said. You know, I just really am excited to be here at the Los Angeles Times Festival of Books, and I really am very excited to let you know about these two books, and I'm hoping that you will consider ordering them on Authors Press, or ordering them on Amazon, or wherever you want to get books. Think Like a Molecule is about being amazed that molecules have learned how to think, and here we are doing 
doing it today. And one is about the idea that a pencil, a pen, are magic wands that can change the world for the better just by writing down what you have to say. I think there ought to be a law. Every human being should write a book of what they learned and what they have to teach the world. So you go, get writing, change the world for the better.